Welcome to the dream, ladies and gentlemen. I am your host, Damashi, and we're back for some more Baldur's Gate 3 Patch 4 Early Access Druid Gameplay and Critique. We're back. I decided to go to camp and rest for the night so we could get another conversation with Gale. Good news. The search for an object of power has been fruitful. The idol of Sylvanas is such an artifact. Are you crazy? There's no way I'm... S We're gonna go with two. That sounds like more trouble than it's worth. And it might well be. It's a holy relic after all, and taking it would enrage the druids to no end. Not that I'd say no, but we're bound to come across more artifacts during our travels. We should probably consider it a last resort. Still, if all else fails, the idol of Sylvanas would serve me well. I don't know what is with the camera hitching there. Alright, so we're going to do something a bit unorthodox here. We're going to cast Grease here. And then we're going to unchain Gale. And we're just going to have him uh, stand in this fire for a bit. And also move everyone back a tad um let's uh throw some vines down no and uh produce flame this is gonna take a bit i'll probably uh now i need gale to Fail his death saving throws three times. Okay, he just needs to fail one more. Now, I could have let this happen organically, but I kind of want it now. Well met. I am a magical projection of Gale of Waterdeep, and if you see this manifestation, that means I have prematurely perished. However, for reasons that cannot be disclosed, it is of vital importance that my death be remedied at your earliest convenience. You may rest assured that I do not speak out of self-preservation alone. Many lives depend on my return to the living within the span of two days. I trust I've made myself clear. Seriously, what, what, what happened to the lip syncing? I've never seen it be this bad. Why do many lives depend on your returns to the living? That will be covered by the for reasons that cannot be disclosed clause. So let's move on. I have upon my deceased person a magical item that can accomplish my return. But such is the value and rarity that it is protected by a multi-layered security protocol. I will now explain the protocol. Step one is to retrieve from my person a pouch I wear over my heart. Next, you must unthread the purple seam that seals it in a counterclockwise fashion. Do not touch any other colored strand. Inside the pouch, you will find a folded letter and a tiny flute. Unfold the letter and note the markings in the top and bottom corners. These are the notes you will need to play. Starting from the bottom right, Play the notes in correct order, clockwise this time. Upon completion of the tune, a magma method will appear, which will pose the following question. Iskcha chisnaga. This is Ignan for what is my name? The answer is Kasi Trak Ash. Pronounce the name correctly and the method will breathe on the letter. Stay clear because the little scamp can melt metal. Words will now appear on the letter's surface, effectively turning the letter into a scroll of true resurrection. Use it to bring me back to life. Fine, I promise I will do so. Excellent. Now repeat my instructions back to me, please. I got it. Seems, notes, names, the lot. In that case, this will be an easy exercise. Step one. Step one, retrieve the pouch. And next. 
I should unthread the purple seam in a counterclockwise fashion. Right. You then have access to the letter and the flute. Go on. I actually forget which one it is. Uh, let's see. A letter, pull the letter, no. The... Okay, it is bottom right. I, th I thought that what that's what it was, but I couldn't remember. I should play the four notes starting at the bottom right corner. Remember to play them clockwise. And after that? Kazit track ash. Correct. But pay attention to the track part. Kh, kh is back of the throat. And so we have gone through the necessary steps again. It is gratifying to see your memory does not fail. It's hilarious because I have a terrible memory. I believe I mentioned that in a previous part. Dead hands soon be refilled with the warmth of life so they can shake yours in gratitude. In fact, during the editing process, I actually edit out anytime I repeat myself if I remember to do so. Alright. Now we could just use a scroll of revivify, but. Let's do the actual protocol. Right. The pouch is sealed with differently colored strands of thread. Fill the purple thread in a counterclockwise fashion. As the purple thread becomes undone, the pouch opens to reveal a letter and flute inside. So, let's look at that letter. D E A D. This is the flute Gale kept on his person. A faint magical aura envelops its wooden surface. I wonder if they've added something here. They have not yet. The flute awaits with bated breath. D. E. E. A. And D. Iskcha chisnaga. Kazit trak ash. Da ya ya su. And a Raquel's letter. All right, let's bring our good friend Gale back. I'm going to save before I do this. You did it! <laughs> oh, it's good to be alive. My hands are still cold, so that handshake will have to wait, but in the meantime... Thank you. You're welcome, and welcome back. Oh, it's a relief to be back on beautiful Faerun. The dreariness of the fugue plane oppresses one's soul so very quickly. That said, I assume you have some questions for me. Only fair to warn you, I have precious few answers to spare. I apologize if that sounds thankless. It's just that some secrets simply cannot be revealed. I like that. I don't believe this uh, dialogue option here was, for, was here before. You told me you trusted me. Here's your chance to prove it. But I'm going to pick four. You know what? It's Which is what I wanted to say for pretty much every single time the characters have been like, Hey, I don't want to talk about this. I'd be like, and it just... And your only options are, press them forward. Like, that sucks. Hopefully they go back and actually add dialogue options, like 4, to all the other instances in the game that are like this. Like, you know what? It's fine. You will tell me when you're ready. That's... Well, that's very kind of you. If the roles were reversed, I don't know if I'd have your patience. You brought me back to life, and for that, I am in your debt. But we're surrounded by danger could happen again 
If it does, bring me back again. You must, for the sake of many. Hopefully there will be an update to the chaining system. Because it's actually worse than it was in DOS 2. In fact, just do Baldur's Gate 1 and 2's selection method of selecting your party. Because it's less of a hassle. Or let us choose between the two methods at will. Because there is merit to the chaining system. Like, I only have to click on one character and I can move them all. Like, there is merit to the chaining system. But there's also a method to the way that Baldur's Gate did it. Oh, Shadowheart has something to say. Finally, some good fortune. Come morning, we know what to do. The sooner we find this priestess gut, the better. Can't wait to get rid of this thing in my head. You know, this could be our last night together. I hope so. Good night. I imagine her response would be different if I had a lot of approval with her at this moment. Alright, so I guess I'm gonna have to cut until I can figure out how to get the Gale thing to progress, because I know he has another scene right now. Alright, so I can't get the thing to trigger. Uh, let's go back to... Did I not get the Sylvanas Grove one? Oh, that's not it. Oops. No, I didn't. Alright, so let's walk over and get that one then. Oh, wrong way. I'm not going to do the dungeon yet. I know I said a couple parts ago that we would do the dungeon now. But uh, I actually want to see if we can get the Gale stuff to trigger. The fact that it is dis difficult to stumble into Gale's romance is kind of frustrating. What is this? Entrance to the ruins. No, I don't want to do this now. I'm walking the wrong way again. What? Uh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. The hell was that? Alright, so another thing I'd like to suggest to Larian is the fast travel points are a bit too spread out. There should be one inside the grove itself. There should be another Netherese rune inside the grove. Probably where Kaga is. I Either where Kaga is or uh, there is a teething woman who will make a bet with you. you know what I really miss about put the room, put the room the there. Food. Freshest fish I ever had. I don't care for fish. Red meat. Now, that's a different matter. Rare as can be. Dripping. Totally not a vampire. Well, unless we find a cure, you won't have any teeth to chew it with soon enough. Did I get the fast travel point? Okay, I got it. Also, we should... The Netherese rune thing is a pretty important thing. Pretty important line of dialogue that Gail has, so we shouldn't be able to miss that. Who are you, Melly? I'm waiting on someone, and you want him. Do you mind? Who are you, Bart? Good to be back behind the walls, have to say. For as long as that lasts. Really? Sure. Night blood excites me. Looking at you is painful enough. Right. Um... Right. Get back there. I already told you I don't have it. How stupid are you? I'm only going to ask you one more time, boy. Hand over my locket. I don't have your ugly locket. I've never seen it before. Hand it over or I'll slap the teeth out of your head. Don't you let her lay a finger on that child. You threatening me? You're the one making threats to a child. Pull yourself together. You don't 
understand. The kid stole my locket. He... Go to hell for this. These little devils get away with everything because of godly bastards like you. You'll get yours someday. I hope I get to see it. Maybe you will, but personally, I doubt it. See you around. So I purposefully saved there because I want to critique this. Oh right, the loading screens are really long. One moment. Alright, we're back. Alright, so let's talk to them again. I'm only gonna ask you one more time, boy. Hand over my locket. I don't have your ugly locket. I never seen it before. Hand it over or I'll slap the teeth out of your head. You better do what he says, boy. I said I don't have it. Maybe he dropped it running away from those big scary goblins. You little spit tongue freak. <sighs> this I don't like how this dialogue option is laid out. These dialogue options are laid out. There should be dialogue options to be like, alright, both of you calm down, let's defuse the situation. How about we talk about this in a way that doesn't involve threatening a child? Not fooling anyone, boy. Why'd you take it? I almost failed that. What kind of question is that? Why does anyone steal anything? Fine. I have the stupid amulet. Take it. I want an answer. Why'd you steal it? To impress a girl, most like. It looked like my mother's, all right? Just take the damn thing and leave me alone! So I'd like dialogue options that could lead to this moment without being a dickhead. Because I should be able to be like, hey, don't hurt the child and still get this conclusion. That's why this dialogue exchange bugs me. Alright, uh, maybe now I can get the Gale scene to pop up. Wait, another sh- Lysel? What? A fine evening, don't you think? The moonlight shines warmly on us. The breeze caresses our faces. Hideous. All of it. Would that I were doing battle up there, among the tears. It should be a role here to be uh, an insight or history or something role here. Be like, my character knows about the tears. Look above. Watch the moon cross the sky. The tears follow behind it. Rocky bodies tumbling through the sea of night. One of them is my crash. Clear. Are all Githyanki from the tears? Your curiosity is to be commended. Githyanki are hatched in creches all throughout realm space. Kalir is one of many. It's there I first saw a Kithrak murder. I'll, I really do dragon, enjoy seeing Lysol's softer I side. My cousin's throats at the Vash's command. But enough of this. You are wasting your resting time. Come dawn, we resume our search for a creche. As soft as a Githyanki can be. Speak. Alright. Game, if you'd be so kind as to give me my next Gale scene, I'd appreciate it. Alright, so I'm gonna pause and see if some fast traveling can get me the scene. Well, Will has a scene, so I, I'm starting to think that the other companions having scenes is stopping me from getting Wills. You spilled enough goblin blood to fill the Chion path. Where'd you learn moves like that? That's a bit of an exaggeration. Nature itself imbues me with its power. You really blossomed out there. Took the battle by storm. Ah, I wish I was playing a warlock so I could critique the warlock the option. Not often keen on sharing his glory. 
But if he has to, better it be with a chump like you. What about you? How did you become the Blade of Frontiers? Was a time I didn't amount to much. But then, uh, a higher purpose called to me. Killed a few goblins, freed a few captives, and I was hooked. The only life I want is a hero's. Now, let's get some rest. I do my best goblin killing at sunup. Talk to me, Gale. Go ahead. I'm listening. Uh, let's just do one, then. The instructions were easy enough, weren't they? If slightly elaborate. I find that a healthy amount of theatrics, a voice from the beyond, a magic flute, a friendly, if highly combustible magma effort, tends to make for a more compelling case. If nothing else, I'm sure I piqued your curiosity. Well... I'm going to pause again until I can get it to happen. Strange. It looks healthy, but it's stone dead. The pig's dead, my friend. Staring at it won't bring it back. Come on. We'll never fix these brain worms if we stop and gawk at every piece of carrion you find. The boar seems to be fresh, only a few hours dead. Examining the corpse, you see two small puncture wounds in its neck. And is it dead enough? These marks are strange. Do you recognize them? Oh, weighted dice almost screwed me over. I... It's been drained of blood with wounds in its neck. It's been killed by a vampire. I didn't want to say anything because I didn't want to worry you. They are ferocious creatures. But don't worry. I'll keep watch tonight. We won't have to worry about nocturnal visitors. Now, please, let's go. All right, maybe now the game will let me talk to Gale. Oh. So I'm now noticing that I believe that when a new camp scene is triggered, you will get it. A symbol here will appear at go to camp. Fine day for it, yes? Hold on, who are you talking to? What? Oh, goodness, no one really. Just a bit of poetry to clear the head. Perhaps it's working. I haven't sprouted a single tentacle that I can see anyway. <laughs> I call that a good sign. Something's not right. I'm keeping an eye on you. A close eye, I hope. The blade puts on a good show. And do let me know if I start growing a second tongue or something. You don't sleep well flitting between dreams and nightmares. Maybe you wake up because you know something is wrong. Huh. Or maybe you just get lucky. I don't usually get the scene this early. Shit. So, I'm gonna be critiquing the hell out of this scene, and I think that will be where I end this video. This scene is cool, except for, obviously, the dialogue options in pretty much every exchange in this scene, sucks. Stop! Or lash out with your elbow. How about, what are you doing? Or what do you think you're doing? I'm gonna lash out of my elbow because I'm annoyed at you, Astarian, for not letting me have the options I'd like to say. I wasn't going to hurt you. I, I just needed, well, blood. There, in dim firelight, you see him for what he really is. A vampire. A slave to sanguine hunger. Two dialogue options. I can't believe I didn't see it. We even found the boar you snacked on. 
How long since you killed someone? Days? Hours? Both these answers suck, quite frankly. Where's... I'm just gonna put it, uh, edit all the options that I can think of in post. I'm actually... It's been a while since I've eaten anything, and I'm kind of lightheaded. So, future me will edit in post what dialogue options I should I think should be here. I'm gonna pick one just to get a move on, and after this conversation, I'll be ending the part. Monster. I feed on animals, bulls, deer, kobolds, whatever I can get. I'm just too slow right now, too weak. If I just had a little blood, I could think clearer, fight better. Please. So we're going to do the Illithid Wisdom one. It's been a while since we've used our tadpole. If you had to tech thoughts, you could use that here as well. Uh, game? Is the game stuck? The game's stuck. I have to... There we go. Revealing cracked and quivering memories. I had to hit spacebar to continue the conversation. The game almost soft locked, I think. You open your mouth and bite down. Not into a tender neck, but into the twisting body of a rat. The only thing your master lets you eat. You ate animals because you were forced to, not because you wanted to. I... Yes. Yes, I ate whatever disgusting vermin my master picked. So you can see why I'm slow to trust you. But I do trust you. And you can trust me. We're gonna go with two. Because we don't have a choice. Not if we're going to save ourselves from these worms. I need you alive. You need me strong. Please, only be a taste, I swear. I'll be well, you'll be fine. And everything can go back to normal. Again, more dialogue options here would be great. Two is always unacceptable. There should probably be at minimum four for every exchange. Minimum, regardless of your class or race. And then there will be some that are dictated that you can only get if you're a race or if you're only a certain class. But they should make sense. If the option that you've picked for like, oh, the wizard or the warlock or some other race or class, especially drow, because as I mentioned before, drow has this problem a lot. If it's something that one of the other classes... Or races sh sh could have said it should also be available to them. Fine, but not a drop more than you need. Really? I. <laughs> of course. Not one drop more. He holds you carefully, delicately, until he strikes. It's like a shard of ice into your neck. A quick, sharp pain that fades to throbbing numbness. Your breath catches. Your pulse quickens. That's enough. Ooh. You lean into him, losing yourself. You can feel your blood racing, coursing through both your bodies. Okay, this is actually really a hot. Numb feeling starts to spread. Stop, it's too much. Oh, I had a dis disadvantage from Bloodless. I may have to use my... Okay, good. Weighted dice came in. Weighted dice came in clutch. I'm not gonna die. I, I was thinking I might have to use my roll. My, uh, my, uh, inspiration there. I was just swept up in the moment. Hmm. But it worked. I feel good. Strong. Happy. 
Again, there should be more dialogue options here. I'm looking forward to seeing you fight. Shouldn't take long. So many people need killing. Now, if you'll excuse me, you're invigorating, but I need something more filling. You watch as he stalks towards the forest. Stronger, more confident, ready to hunt. This is a gift, you know. I won't forget it. And I think we will end this part with this last, last extra bit of dialogue from Starian. Good morning. How do you feel? I'm fine, just a little woozy. It'll pass. Just be glad I'm not a true vampire. A bite from them and you might wake up as a vampire spawn. Like my good self. All of a vampire's hunger, but few of their powers. Again, I hope that Vampire Spawn and Werewolf become options in the final game. For, for custom characters in the final game. Especially werewolves, because I love werewolves, I love them so much, and I don't want to play an origin character to, to get the access to a werewolf. Is that how you can stand in the sun? Because you're not a true vampire. Oh no. I should be cinders in this light. I hadn't seen the sun for 200 years before we crashed here. Someone, or something, wants me alive. They've changed the rules. Some of the rules, at least. Running water still burns like acid, and I don't know if I need an invitation to enter a house. As for my other quirks, well, <laughs> we can figure those out in time. What's causing this? The Mind Flayer's Parasite? That's my theory, but who knows? I'm just glad you're being sensible about these uh, revelations. I was worried people might turn up with torches and pitchforks. Although there's still time. So we're traveling with a vampire, are we? Of course we are. Word of warning, Astarian. I taste absolutely awful. I'd just better not wake in the night to find fangs at my throat. I trust him. He won't hurt us. Quite the opposite. I'm here in the spirit of openness and honesty. I honestly, I needed that guildless approval because I, I'm worried about not hitting the threshold. Not triggering... I'm worried about not triggering the next scene with Gale before his approval threshold locks me out. If you enjoyed the content of this video, please like the video, comment down below, share the video around, and subscribe to the channel, because it tells me you like my content and want me to keep making it. It also helps the channel grow. Until next time, later.